Uh, Alright, I'm done with that mess. So, is watching me from afar. Okay, so let's right. somebody right or however the situation is and you know they're they're bearing your soul their soul to you right opening up to you maybe you're maybe you're not used to people opening up to you right maybe you're not used to people being so vulnerable with you it's because they trust you right because they love you. That's why people do that. Open themselves up. Okay? It doesn't mean that people are weak. It doesn't mean that people are stupid. Right? Because people can play. People can act one way. Okay? And it'll cause people to think that they're stupid when really <laughs> they're the most intelligent person that you've probably ever come across. Ever. The intelligent people don't, they don't necessarily always reveal that they have the intelligence level that they have. I mean, why would you, right? It's in action. It's shown in action. It's like love. Love is an action word. It's easy to say you love someone, but in your actions it will show that person or those people that you really love them or not. And I get it, we all make mistakes. All right, I done made mistakes in my young years, okay? But the point is, and the, and the goal is to learn from those mistakes and correct them. Not get back in the same, you know, the place you wanna be and then mess up by doing the same thing over and over again. Thinking that you, thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, right? Let me tell you, it's never, it's never green on the other side. Never. God sends people into people's lives for specific reasons, right? And God may have sent you a blessing in your life and you don't even know. You have no idea. Um, God can send a blessing to you. And at most times, it's it's in disguise. Blessings come in disguise, right? And that's also to test you, right? The person that's been sent to blessing. That's also to test them to see what type of caliber of person they are, right? People don't know the true value of of people, right? of people with experience in life. Uh, people that have the internal structure, right? And not just the out, the outside structure, okay? People can have a pretty face and have a pretty exterior, but they are lacking everything internally that is needed, right? I mean, who just wants a pretty face when the inside is, doesn't match that? Right? You have to fix the inside of you first and then it will show outwardly. Right? See, that's what this world, the world will tell you that it's all about money, cars, nice cars, uh, uh, you know, fleshly things. It's not. It's not. That's, that's the lie, right? The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God 
and all other things will be added into you. All other things will be added into you. That means the money that you that you seek to have in life, right? Uh, the love that you seek to have in life. Everything that you seek to have in life that is exterior, God will add that to you, right? When you put him first, when you put him first, I mean, think about it. He is, he's the king of kings. He's the creator of all things. So he can give you riches and whatever it is externally that you want, he can give you that way better and way more than the world can. Way better and way more than the world can. The world offers fleeting things, things that don't last. They're, they're here today, gone tomorrow. All right, we know we can't take none of this stuff with us when we die, but we know with God, we store things. All the things that you do down here that are that are good for God, you store things up in heaven. You store things in heaven. Now, every child of God knows that, you know, every child of God has their own mansion in heaven. We know that, right? Streets riddled with gold. The flowers sing, the water speaks. It, it's it's different than down here, okay? Down here is like a watered down version of everything that's in heaven, all right? A majorly watered down version. So, we gotta learn how to, not to judge a book by its cover. You can't judge somebody or something by looking at it without knowing the inside. You have to know the inside. Just because something might not look good on the outside, depending on which season it's in uh, or they are in, right? When I when I was, you know, the one that I love, right? Still do love, <laughs> love to death, man. Never is gonna go anywhere. And I hope I hope he changes his ways and, and, and gets it together, cause. I just hope so. I, I ain't gonna lie. I want him back. Okay. Not just because I want him back, but I don't want him to live a mundane life. I don't want him to keep, keep continuing to fall for these people out here that just want to take, 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 and then leave them in the dirt, leave them in the mud. Right? But I digress. So. I've made that mistake before. You know, I've used people before in my 20s. I had sugar daddies and shit. My, I had all that. But you know what? I grew from that. I realized that that at the end I learned a lesson. I had to learn a hard lesson, right? But I realized that I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. I wouldn't. And it took for that to happen to me, right? For me to realize, like, Dang, is that what I was doing, right? Even though it seemed harmless to me, but is that what I was doing? And it was, so I told myself, I, I, I won't, and God, that I, I won't do that no more. Like, I, I'm gonna start treating people like they should, like I would wanna be treated. That's what the Bible says, treat people like you wanna be treated. If you want people to treat you nasty and, and, and vile and stuff, then, then, I mean, if you treat people nasty and vile and stuff, then that's how people's gonna treat you. But if you treat people with respect, with love and kindness, then that's what you're gonna receive in return, right? It's not all about what's shiny, <coughs> like like a, a shiny objects. People call it shiny object syndrome because they see something over there that's shiny. It looks like it looks like it's better than what you got right now, right? But then you go over there. And, and, and you know, try to see what's up with that, and, it, and it's it's even worse. It doesn't even compare. Not even a fracture does it compare to what you had, right? Where you should have been. So you gotta learn how to judge people by their character, by their heart, and know that that's not that's it's not weak, or a person's not stupid because they decide to open their heart to you. That is a, you know how many people who are closed off and refuse to open up to others? I mean, to the ones that love me? 
that is a rarity. If somebody opens up their heart to you or bears their soul to you, that is a gift. That's a gift. That is a gift. That's a gift, man. It's a gift for real. People don't even realize that. That's a gift. Like somebody that like does that to me, opens up their heart, bears their soul to me, I'm gonna protect that. I'm gonna protect that by any means necessary. I'm gonna protect that. And I'm gonna work from the inside of that outwardly. I'm gonna make sure that uh I'm gonna I'm try to patch up some of those those holes. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to fix some of those leaks. Not try to make them bigger. You know what I'm saying? So, those of us. Sorry. Stuff is just my secret. Those of us that have done that, made that mistake, it's okay. It's okay. Like we're human. The point is to learn from it learn from it, which means change your behavior, right? If you want whom you want in life or what you want in life and it for it to be good, you got to change your behavior. You got to change your, uh, your motives. Like, what are you doing this for? What are you doing that for? Are you doing it to gain something? Or are you doing it out of kindness of your heart? Right, and some of this, it's, it's, it's all stuff you gotta learn. It's not stuff that happens overnight, but that ain't no excuse to keep on doing it. If you're, if you're, you know, if you know better, if you know better, do better. Right, then you can have the things back that were taken from you or that you left. Right, make amends, apologize for things when you're wrong. Like every single person on this earth is wrong at times. That's period. And you shouldn't feel ashamed or feel small or feel inferior just because you admit to being wrong or to have done a wrongdoing. That's all right, that's fine. Like the only one that was perfect is Jesus. That's it. We're not made to be perfect. We're not. That's why the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit. Because we're not perfect. So we can repent for the things that we do that are not so favorable, right? So, what, why am I saying this? Because I feel like somebody has had time to sit down and to think and realize that what they were seeking after, it, it wasn't what it was. It, what they were seeking after was a mirage. It was an illusion. And what they had was gold, was the jackpot, right? So if you want that thing back or the per person back, you gotta, you gotta change your, change your thoughts, change, change your thinking, change your behavior, change the stuff that you do, you know, and how you do it. Believe me. Hey, I'm praying every day for, for, for my ex to, to wake up and to realize some stuff, right? But not, that, not just for me, but for, for them. More importantly. I don't want them to end up in a place that they'll regret later. Right? So, uh, be brave. Right? Be brave. Be courageous. Don't be afraid to uh, contact somebody you may have done wrong. Right? I guarantee you. I'm, I can almost guarantee you that they forgive you. They forgive you. They're probably just waiting to hear from you. Right? thing about children of God is we don't hold grudges, right? We, we, we've learned to forgive and, and, and we have empathy, right? We, we have been in other people's shoes before. We have been in the places that they're at before. 
right? It took us work to get to where we're at now. We're still not perfect, and we're not gonna be. But, as long as you try, and try your best, right? Do good, do what's right. Because the wrong things are not gonna pay off. They're never gonna pay off. They never are. They never do. That's God's law. That doesn't pay. It might give you the illusion that it pays, but it doesn't pay. It doesn't. You end up paying in the end. You. So, uh, y'all, if anybody's done anything to you, forget. Where did Jesus say on the cross, right? After they had crucified him. Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. Right? If Jesus can forgive and, and, and right after they strung him up on the cross, made him unrecognizable, and he still had it in him, the God in him, to say, Lord, please forgive them for they know not what they do. That's a power. That's power. I don't know. Like shit. That is power. Alright? So. You know, if you want to reconcile with somebody, do that. Right? What's what's the alternative? That you just stay quiet and you suffer in silence? But why? When you can... You can fix that. You can fix that. You don't have to suffer anymore. You make things right, the suffering goes away. If you didn't know that, now you know. If you make things right, the suffering goes away. Yes, you might have to deal with, um, you have to go through, you know, God's punishment, but it won't be his wrath, you know what I'm saying? Because of ignorance and because of a hard head. Right? God will show you mercy. And you can let him start healing your heart so you can live a life that you've never lived before. I'm telling you, my heart used to be, I used to be, I didn't believe in love, I didn't believe that there was, but I just did nothing, but I had to let God in, and when I did, it started healing me, and, and my outlook started changing, things started changing, I started feeling different, I started acting different, being different, so, yeah. Sorry, y'all. I had to get. They, they filled my teeth, with, my tooth with some uh, some filling stuff, right? I gotta go to an oral surgeon and get because it's it's a, like a special kind of surgery. I gotta get. It's, yeah, it sucks. But anyway, I gotta do that. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. So if you are missing somebody okay and you are ready to do the right thing then do that don't suffer in silence come over to the right side and get off of the left side of the wrong side all right be willing to surrender it all to, to the lord and he'll take it you don't have to bear those burdens if you don't i'm telling you you don't you know how many times I cry every day? It's that, my name, should, I should be called the weeping prophet. <laughs> I cry every day, okay? Every day. But it's also a form of release. It's a form of release. But that's just me, I'm sensitive, right? It means I have, I, I, I'm, I love vigorously. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? But, I love is reserved for one. No, I got love for all. Just that special love is reserved for one. <laughs> but I love y'all, right? And I gotta go on the best night, so I will see y'all on my video later. Alright, peace.